News today's news. It's CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by O'Reilly Auto Parts. I'm Monica Rick. Former President Trump stood by his deposition in testimony today at his defamation trial in New York, where he's getting sued for more damages by author E. Jean Carroll. Correspondent Errol Barnett. She also asked him if he intended or instructed anyone to harm Miss Carroll after she made public her sexual assault claim, and he said, um, no, I didn't. He then went on to say, I just wanted to defend myself and my family and the presidency. Um, she said something I consider a first statement. Judge Kaplan then instructed um, everything the president said after no to be stricken from the record. The whole thing took just four minutes. Former Trump advisor Peter Navarro has been sentenced to four months in prison for ignoring a subpoena to testify about the January 6th insurrection. Navarro was later asked if he expects a pardon if Trump's re-elected. No, I'm not expecting or hoping for that. That's not an issue. I do believe President Trump will win the White House in terms of that. Those were protesters blowing whistles behind him. Navarro does plan to appeal. In Michigan, testimony is underway in Jennifer Crumley's trial. She and her husband are the first parents of a mass shooter to be charged in the U.S. for buying the weapon. But CBS's Elaine Cajano talked to legal analyst Jessica Levinson about them being tried separately. The fact that the parents are not standing trial together is not rare, but I absolutely think it indicates that they expect to point the finger at each other. It's also possible for Ethan Crumbly to take the stand in both his parents' trials. His attorneys have advised him not to testify, not to provide evidence. His parents' attorneys obviously want him to testify and say, I am the one who is responsible for my actions. It was not my parents. Nitrogen gas will be used for the first time to execute an inmate tonight in Alabama. CBS's Lydia Luciano talks to an expert about why that's controversial. Joel Zivin is a professor of anesthesiology and surgery at Emory University. He says there are unknown risks for this never-before-seen method, especially for those who will be in the room. The nitrogen gas could leak from the mask. And so whether or not that would be enough nitrogen in the room, to actually have an effect on people, it's not clear. A new report shows rent is unaffordable for half of all renters in the U.S. Whitney Airgood Obricki analyzes housing staff at Harvard. Really seeing the worst affordability conditions on record. 22.4 million renter households were cost burdened, which means that they spend more than 30% of their income on rent and utilities each month. And she says rent increases are outpacing raises. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 63 degrees in Oakland, California.